everyone and welcome to the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special. This year, we are coming to you from Webstream Sports Studios in Indianapolis, Indiana. Of course, Indianapolis, the home of the NCAA. And on our show in the next 60 minutes, we will preview each and every team in the Missouri Valley Conference on both the men's and women's side. Plus, we will sit down with one of the best guards in all the nation. Fred Van Vliet, the junior guard from Wichita State, and we'll have our yearly visit with the commissioner of the Missouri Valley Conference, Doug Elgin. But let's get right into it and let's see the top 10 in the Missouri Valley Conference here in 2014-15 as they strive for a conference title. But before we take a look at this year, let's take a look at last year's final standings in the Missouri Valley Conference on the women's side. And it's brought to you by Perina Dog Chow. Perina Dog Chow, for every dog, there's a dog chow. And of course, at the top of the standings, Wichita State, the Shockers under Jody Adams, and of course, the former coach at Indiana State, Terry Morin, as we see one through 10 in 2013-2014. Now let's take a look at some of the teams striving for a conference title this season. The Bradley Braves under third year head coach Michael Brooks brings back just one starter from a year ago in senior Michelle Young. Young was an honorable mention all-conference player who finished in the league's top 10 for points and steals. Coach Brooks says Young and all of the players returning will have to help the nine newcomers learn the Braves system in Peoria. One of the things that the returners from that year can learn and can teach the, the newcomers, I mean, we have nine new people on our team, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of new, but, but they've got to teach them how to persevere. Um, you know, basketball is just a metaphor for life, and, and what we want our women to understand is that they're going to be hit with times that aren't so good. They're going to be hit in times of transition, um, in, in times of, you know, need and want, and how they come together, um, how they deal with that adversity, you know, really shows the true character of themselves. Also returning are last year's conference all-freshman choices, Fantasia Vine and Lita Lerma. Cindy Stein embarks on her second year of turning around the Southern Illinois program. The Salukis bring back several starters from a year ago, including all-Valley forward Diane Pierre. Stein really believes her team will take another step in the right direction this season in the building blocks for a winning program in Carbondale. We returned seven. We have seven kids that didn't play last year, and they're all playing extremely hard. So, you know, you talk about all, everyone has hopes at the beginning of the year, and we really feel like it's going to become reality. We're going to be a lot better. Um, I think we're going to be extremely more com competitive each game, uh, which is something that we weren't always doing. We got better towards the end of the year, but it wasn't always good enough. Uh, but I think we're going to be a much better defending team, and obviously we've got a lot of... Uh, pieces now offensively that will be able to score at all positions. Also in her second season as head coach in the Valley is Illinois State's Barb Smith. Coach Smith has a couple of high profile Redbirds returning to the lineup this year in Katie Wingy and Octavia Crump. Smith says Wingy and Crump will have to take over the leadership role of the team that was lost in the graduation of Chloe Nelson. Now our challenge this year is to fill that role. And that's probably our biggest challenge this year is to find out who's going to be that director and who wants that director's chair. And there's some good, healthy competition going on for that spot. Um, and it, it will probably be a lot, you know, it'll be more than one person doing it. The Birds bring in several key newcomers, including Colleen Smith, who received Jukel All-American Laurels last season. The Loyola Ramblers enter their second season as a member of the Missouri Valley Conference and Cheryl Swoop returns as head coach. The Ramblers were decimated with injuries last season and several of those players are back this year, including Simone Law. Coach Swoop says having a healthy team will be great, but they need to find someone to pick up the loss of last year's leading scorer, Troy Hambrick. I had four players out last year, potential starters, who are out with season ending injuries. I get all four of those starters back, um, plus five incoming freshmen, a transfer. Um, so hopefully somebody in that group will be able to step up and, and fill those shoes and, and fill that void that Troy left. But without a doubt, we got a, we got a lot of work to do. Swoops will have three starters coming back for another season. So we're just really excited to, to be moving forward and um, you know, there's a lot of momentum, a lot of excitement on our campus, on our program. And, you know, we're just, we're just really anxious to be going. That's Missouri State head coach Kelly Harper, who's ready to roll in year two in Springfield. 
and there should be a lot of excitement in the Ozarks with leading scorer from last season, Kenzie Williams coming back, along with two other starters in Tiana Snow and Nijay Gaines. Williams and Snow received honorable mention all-conference laurels last year. It may be just a matter of time before the Lady Bears return to prominence in the Valley. All right, stick around. We've got more coming up on our 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference preseason basketball special. We'll break down five through one in the preseason Valley Bowl on the women's side when we come back right after this. The 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference basketball preseason special is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare, the official presenting sponsor for the MDC TV network. By Perina Dog Chow. For every dog, there's a dog chow. By State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And by Casey's General Store. Casey's, famous for pizza. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs. And that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry. Who said sightseeing has to stop at sundown? Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. Large original or flatbread taco pizza for only $13.99. Casey's famous for pizza. All aboard the Polar Express train ride on a magical trip for those who truly believe in the spirit of Christmas. Your journey to the North Pole is based on the hit movie, complete with caroling, hot chocolate, a reading of the classic book, and a special gift for each child from Santa. Families are encouraged to wear their pajamas and make this an annual holiday tradition. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. This sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Ups and downs. Twists and turns. No better place to find your center. Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. At Aetna. We believe a health insurance company should be as passionate about their members' health as they would be their own. Because a healthier you leads to a healthier community, and healthier communities lead to a healthier world. As we return on the 2014-15 Valley Preseason Basketball Special, let's take a look at this year's MVC Preseason All-Conference Team on the women's side. It's brought to you by Casey's General Store, Casey's. Famous for pizza. And what a list of terrific players. Jen Keitel of Northern Iowa, one of those right there, as you see on your list. Also, of course, the fantastic Alex Harden from Wichita State and Kendall Clark of the Drake Bulldogs. As we continue to preview all the teams heading to preseason number one, we start with number five. The preseason number five in the Valley this year is Indiana State. The Sycamores are going through a bit of a change this season as former assistant coach Joey Wells takes over the head coaching reins. The cupboard on the court isn't bare as this year's senior laden team is coming off its first conference regular season championship in eight years. Wells says the transition to become the head coach should be pretty seamless since he spent the last two seasons in Terre Haute as an assistant. I think the character of these players, you know, again, part of the recruiting process, uh, and that's where I've been fortunate is I've been involved in, with that aspect of it. So I know they're all very good people. 
uh, and so it's not an I system, you know, it's a, it's a we, uh, and they've really bought into that. And so, again, as our team builds, uh, each player gets better, but the team gets stronger. Among those returning for their senior season in Terre Haute is Rachel Mahon, who averaged nine points and seven rebounds per game. OT Seps has the Purple Aces on the brink of something special in Evansville. The fourth year head coach has nearly all of his key contributors back from a season ago that produced the first postseason berth since 2009. Epps says he really believes his team will take another step forward after winning 15 games last season. You know, the exciting thing about that for us is that we have a lot of kids returning off of that team. So we've worked really hard this summer, and since we've been in preseason, just to kind of build on the momentum we created. And it was all due to our defense, and so we've, we've done some things different defensively to enhance what we've done uh, last season. We've gotten a lot longer or more athletic on the perimeter, so we're hoping with, with those adjustments to our scheme that we're able to build on that success. One of the big names returning is sophomore Sarah Dickey, who had the second most points ever scored by a freshman in Valley history behind only MVC all-time scoring leader Jackie Scott. I love our senior class. I really do. I mean, obviously, you're returning the player of the year last year in, in Kendall Clark, who is just a great on-court leader who works really hard on and off the floor. Um, but we're also returning a lot, a good class around her. You know, we've got Carly Grenfell, who's come, become a great spark player for us. Uh, Liza Heath is, is just kind of the ultimate versatile utility type player who is just a, a vocal leader for us. So. When you have a great senior class and you have a lot of young talent, um, great things can happen. That's Drake head coach Jenny Bronchek, whose team is loaded this year. The Bulldogs returned four starters, including the Valley's leading scorer and player of the year, Kendall Clark. The Bulldogs also returned co-freshman of the year, Lizzie Wendell. DU is picked number three in the preseason poll. At number two are the Northern Iowa Panthers. The Cats are the only team that returns all five of their starters from a year ago, including preseason all-conference forward Jim Keidel. Head coach Tanya Warren says expectations for this year's team are no different in other years to maintain the program's model of consistency. The experience, you can't put a price tag on that, and they understand the importance of every day um, and, and not taking a day for granted and understand the importance of each, each possession. Um, the, the strength of this team will be um, our ability to uh, score inside out and understanding that we have five kids uh, that can contribute on the floor at all times. The Panthers have won a minimum of 17 games in each of the last five years. Seven years ago, Jody Adams took over the Wichita State program that had been struggling. Now Adams has built a powerhouse as the Shockers are the preseason number one following their second consecutive NCAA tournament appearance and a school record 26 wins. With the multi-talented Alex Harden back and some other key contributors from last year, Adams says the expectations now in Wichita are to maintain their winning ways. I think fortunately I have a lot of greedy players and a staff that is very greedy of wanting more. Um, we love challenges. Uh, we know the target's huge on our backs this year, especially after being back-to-back -back champions. And, but um, it's fun having a group like I have uh, that uh, wants to continue on and, and see what's next. And there you have it, the top five, five through one in the preseason poll in the Missouri Valley Conference. As we take a look at it right now, it's brought to you by Coventry Healthcare, an Aetna company the official presenting sponsor of the MVC TV network. And yes, indeed, Jody Adams' squad, the preseason number one in the Missouri Valley Conference for 2014-15. But also watch out for Tanya Warren's Northern Iowa Panthers at number two and Jenny Baranchik's Drake Bulldogs at number three. All right, we'll take a quick break here on this edition of the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference preseason basketball special. And when we come back, We'll preview one of the best point guards, if not the best point guard, in all the country. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA.
DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. In the insurance business, you think differently about a customer when you stand in the middle of his dreams. When she serves you breakfast every Saturday morning. When his son plays on the same team as your son. When you live down the street from your customers, you make sure they get covered right. And you make sure you're there when they need you. That's the way it's done around here. Grinnell Mutual, a policy of working together. To find a Grinnell Mutual agent near you, go to GrinnellMutual.com. surprising places. Plan your holiday shopping getaway at explorestlouis.com. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook. Find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. Hey, basketball fans, the Missouri Valley Tournament in St. Charles, Missouri is coming soon. Make your team the home team at the MVC Tournament and get great seats for as little as $12 a session, just $12. Don't miss the 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Tournament, March 12th through 15th at Family Arena. Get your tickets and get to St. Charles now. And welcome back to the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special. Scott Warman back with you. And before we start previewing the men's side on our, our special here tonight, one special player in the Missouri Valley Conference. He is the Larry Bird Trophy winner from a year ago, Preseason Valley Player of the Year. And this young man is also a preseason All-American. Fred Van Vliet has been unbelievable in his two-plus years at Wichita State. And boy, I'll tell you what, what an incredible ride it has been for Wichita State over the last couple of years. The darlings of the NCAA tournament two years ago, making it to the final four before losing to the eventual national champion Louisville Cardinals in the semifinals. And then of course last year, the Shocks went undefeated throughout the regular season. The winning streak would come to an end in the third round of the NCAA tournament to Kentucky, who would eventually lose in last year's title game. There's no question this is a historical run for the Shockers that ranks near the top of a long list during the Valley's 100-plus years of existence. This year, the Shocks are considered one of the top teams in the country once again, and the common denominator to all the success is twofold. One, of course, is head coach Craig Marshall, and two, the trio of guards that are back for another season. Tekel Cotton and Ron Baker are preseason all-conference picks, and teammate Fred Van Vliet, who's the Valley's Player of the Year and a preseason All-American. Van Vliet says his humble beginnings to his collegiate career has helped him to strive to become the player he is now. I think maybe naively early on, just when you're coming out of high school, you think you're the best thing you know ever. Um, you don't understand what it takes to be good at this level. So my freshman year was definitely a humbling experience. Probably played like 15, 16 minutes a game as a backup role. So that kind of put things in perspective for me early on. And then from there, I just started working my butt off, uh, trying to get better. I didn't go into last year trying to get the MVP. I just wanted to be the best I could for my team. Uh, obviously, we had Clay Anthony early, who could have won it. Ryan could have won it as well. So. Uh, for me, I just took it in stride, and those guys were very supportive. And when does Fred think it all started to click for him last year? February, probably pretty precisely um, late in the conference season, I started getting confidence and 
playing well, playing better, and then obviously we went on our run in the tournament, and I was put in positions where, you know, I was in the game when the game was on the line for the season to be over. So I think as my confidence grew, coach's confidence grew in me, and it was kind of all together a big confidence boost for me and for the team and for everybody involved. Now that Van Bleet and his teammates have received all the attention, has it affected them? I like to see these guys get, you know, they're just do. I feel like I don't do as much. I just try to keep all the crazy people together. And that's really all I do. Everybody else has some more talents and things like that. So like Takel is a laid back guy. So when he get awards and stuff, it's always, you know, makes me proud just because he don't, I don't feel like he gets enough of what he should get. Same thing with Ryan. So um, seeing those guys get more attention as the spotlight grows, uh, I like to see that. This is our third year together, going to be third year. Uh, the first two have been really exciting, as you can see from the past few seasons. Uh, obviously, the kill is a pretty comical guy, so it's always fun to be around him. Uh, Fred tries to act tough, but uh, he's, he's, he's kind of a little kid on the inside, so you get to know your get to know your teammates a little a little more than other people do that you know just watch us play basketball. We're accomplishing a lot, of course, from, from these past two years, and just looking forward to the third year. It's even been different from this year to last year, last year to the year before. Um, the NCAA media is a totally different animal. So that kind of prepared us. I mean, me and my first year for what was ahead. Last year was a different, it was kind of an outside media thing where everybody was talking about our record and things. And then this preseason has been personal for me with the different accolades and lists or whatever is going on. So. Um, it's been the longest preseason thus far, and I'm just ready for the games to start, so all of that other stuff doesn't matter. And Van Bleet says that while all the personal hardware is nice, he just wants to see his team continue their success again this year. I don't set out on personal goals. I just, for a team, it's just me, it's just to win. Win every game, uh, win the conference, win St. Louis, make it deep in the tournament. And I think if you try to focus on that and everybody on the team is focusing on that, then the individual things will come out of that. So uh, whatever happens individually happens. I don't, I don't really focus on that too much. It's a nice uh, pat on the back or a sign of respect, but I'm just trying to win the games that's in front of us. So what does Fred like to do when he's away from the court? Uh, I just like to be around my friends and family and just enjoy the people that I know and that I can open up to and be myself around in a social setting around people I don't know. I'll be more quiet and, and not, you know, have as much fun. But like when I'm with my people, uh, I like to have fun and just be silly and uh, enjoy life really just every day. I don't have to be doing anything spectacular. This summer we made it to a Royals game and different, I went to an OU football game. So different things that, I you know, I just like to have experiences and see different things that a lot of people where I'm from will never get to see. And Van Bleet says he's setting the bar really high for life after college hoops. Well, I mean, honestly, any basketball player who said he wouldn't like to play in the NBA would be a liar. So, I mean, that would be my goal going forward. Um, see what happens there. Maybe I play there, maybe overseas, uh, make some money and then go from there. I'll have a degree in sociology, so you know, I could coach or teach or, you know, do whatever. I'd like to be involved in the community one way or the other, doing different things and, you know, just go from there, try to help out the youth and provide opportunities for people that maybe didn't have them. Um, me and my family kind of made my situation, you know, happen. Um, I was lucky enough to have two parents at home and different opportunities they sacrificed for me. And I know that every kid doesn't have that, so whatever I can do to help that way, you know, it'll be a big plus. When we return on the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference basketball preseason special, we'll start previewing the men's side when we come back. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs. And that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry.
Right now, get any large original or flatbread taco pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. At Aetna, we believe a health insurance company should be as passionate about their members' health as they would be their own. Because a healthier you leads to a healthier community, and healthier communities lead to a healthier world. Back to the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference basketball preseason special. Now we start to break down the men's teams gunning for a conference championship here in 2014-15. And this should be maybe one of the best seasons we've seen on the men's side in many, many years to come. But before we start previewing some of the men's teams, let's take a look at back at last year and the final standings of 2013-14. And it's brought to you by Perina Dog Chow. Perina Dog Chow. For every dog, there's a dog chow. And of course, with the undefeated run for the Wichita State Shockers throughout the entire regular season, they wind up winning the conference title again last year in 2013-14. Who's gunning for the Shockers this year? Let's take a look. The Loyal Ramblers are getting set to crank up their second season in the Missouri Valley Conference under head coach Porter Moser. The Ramblers won just 10 games last season but did advance to the conference quarterfinals in St. Louis. Moser's team has the freshman of the year, Milton Doyle, expected to return to the lineup. Doyle averaged nearly 15 points per game a year ago. Coach Moser says his outstanding newcomers should give Doyle some support this year. We've added, a, you know, five, six newcomers that, uh, that I think can come in and, and help us, that I think are moving into the valley when you recruit selling to the student athletes, kids want to play in a better league. They want to play in a, in a in better competition, more of a spotlight, and that's helped our recruiting. But we're just in that beginning stages of that. You know, we gotta, we gotta build the rosters up. This incoming freshman class, Ben Richardson from Kansas City, Jay Canute from Iowa. Um, we have uh, Dante Ingram from Chicago Simeon. A lot of guys that can come in, I believe, that are, you know, through committee, can help take some of that load off of Milton. Doyle was injured in the preseason and missed some time in October, but is expected to help the Ramblers this year. Speaking of a second season, this is year two for Ray Giacoletti at the helm at Drake. Last year, Giacoletti's team won four more games than the previous year, thanks to the terrific early season play of Gary Ricks Jr. before he was lost for the season due to an injury. Coach Giacoletti says the entry might have been a blessing in disguise for the Bulldogs because Ricks is back and a steady influence for the program's newcomers. We get Gary Ricks back. Gary, we were eight and three, and he broke his foot. And so uh, what was a tough blow to deal with a year ago is kind of a blessing in disguise now because we have five freshmen, and we really could use some senior leadership, uh, probably our best player, returning and, and so uh, it, it was kind of a silver lining of, of what took place last year and so he's really done a great job helping our young guys from the very start from the time those freshmen came on campus in June. The Bulldogs also bring back senior Carl Madison to ease the transition for six newcomers. The Bradley Braves are looking to restore their proud winning tradition in Peoria this season with a great mix of veterans and newcomers. Gino Ford is in his fourth year at Bradley and is coming off a 12-win season a year ago. Gino says his team should not only be much better this year, but much bigger. I think the biggest thing for us is the size and strength of our roster is drastically different than what it's been. Uh, we've been the smallest team in the league or the next to smallest team in the league for three years and all of a sudden we're going to be in the top couple in terms of uh, you know length and height and, and, and things that in basketball uh, certainly are helpful so uh, you know we feel like we're, we're trending in the right direction physically anyway. Kadero Bell, Omari Greer, Xavier Taylor, and Austin Barnes return this season to take BU to greater heights. It seems Barry Henson is starting to provide some of his coaching magic to the Southern Illinois program. In year two of Henson's reclamation project in Carbondale, the Salukis won eight of their season total 14 games down the stretch, and the Dogs made it all the way to the semis of Arch Madness. Here's Coach Henson. I think there's a lot of unknowns here and 
The unknown part of it is, is how is Anthony going to accept his new role as having a target or a bullseye on his back night in and night out. Now, we have spent the entire summer and the entire fall trying to prepare Anthony for what's getting ready to happen. Now, until we see it live, that's not going to take place. Experience is the greatest teacher. We know that. Uh, it gives the test before the lesson. Vernon Law, just in case you guys were going to throw a quote out there. But I, I am in, I'm really anxious to see how Anthony handles, quote unquote, this green light that we've given him. I think there's opportunities for Anthony to do some great things this year. But great things in my mind are not in points. Great things in my mind. How many assists can you get during a game? What can you do defensively? Anthony, being a junior, will lead the way for the Salukis this season. I think the leadership core uh, group that we have on this team of our returners uh, done a great job ever since we lost at Arkansas last year. You know, it was their team. Uh, the spring workouts last year, the summer, and then the fall, uh, they've really stepped up. And, and they, they know we're going to have to play a little differently, uh, especially at the offensive end. Uh, some of these other guys are going to have to step up, but we're also going to have to, uh, these are new guys. We have seven new guys on the roster that haven't played a minute for us. So uh, we're going to have to coach them up a little bit more, a little bit differently than what we've had. Uh, I like our talent level. I think our talent level is good enough to compete. Uh, but anytime you lose a, a great player, obviously, you know, it happens to everybody from across the board. Um, the other guys have to step up, and, and I'm confident our guys will do that. That's Indiana State head coach Greg Lansing on trying to replace his leader the last four years in Jake Odom. Odom and company won 23 games and made it to the NIT in postseason play last season. Odom was one of the most prolific players in Indiana State history. The Sycamores will rely on Christian Smith and Jake Kitchell to lead the way with a roster filled with newcomers this season. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we will preview the top five teams in the preseason poll in the Valley when we come back right after this. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. who said sightseeing has to stop at sundown. Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. Have you tried one of these? It is so good. Hey, and I can't believe we haven't done this before. Oh, wow, look at that. What a bite. You're aging. Do the jingle. Do the jingle. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, guys. Uh, do it again, do it again. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In my office. State Farm. I think we're good. <laughs> state Farm agents help you get to a better state. All aboard the Polar Express train ride on a magical trip for those who truly believe in the spirit of Christmas. Your journey to the North Pole is based on the hit movie, complete with caroling, hot chocolate, a reading of the classic book, and a special gift for each child from Santa. Families are encouraged to wear their pajamas and make this an annual holiday tradition. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Ups and downs, twists and turns, no better place to find your center. Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. The 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare the official presenting sponsor for the MVC TV network. By Perina Dog Chow. For every dog, there's a dog chow. By State Farm, 
for auto, home, life, and banking get to a better state. And by Casey's General Store. Casey's, famous for pizza. And as we continue in the Valley's preseason basketball special, we take a look at the preseason all-conference team in the Valley for 2014-15. It's brought to you by Casey's General Store. Casey's, famous for pizza. And unbelievable in the 100-plus year history of the Missouri Valley Conference, the first time ever three players from one team in the preseason bowl. Of course, the preseason player of the year, we just featured Fred Van Fleet along with Ron Baker and Tekel Cotton. All right, let's start previewing five through the top seed in the preseason poll as we continue with our program. We start things off with the Illinois State Redbirds. After a complete roster turnover from a year ago, the Redbirds still finished fourth in the league. Coach Dan Muller's club brings back four starters, and Muller believes the experience that's returning to the team will help the Birds make a push for a conference title. Hopefully take a big jump this year, to be honest. We had uh, a lot of new faces last year, and so there were some growing pains. We were terrific at home, had some very big wins, um, but we, of course, want to do more. We want to win more. Uh, we want to do better in the non-conference and, and certainly have um, hopes of competing for a Valley Championship and, and competing in, in postseason play for a long time. Deshaun Knight, Bobby Hunter, and Reggie Lynch are among the returning starters who will provide a great presence both on the perimeter and inside. Marty Simmons is now in his eighth year as the head coach in Evansville, and there is no question this year's team has the makings to be one of the best the Aces have had in a long time. Coming back to the team is the league's leading scorer in D.J. Ballantyne and one of the best big men in the conference in Igidius Muscavicius. Simmons says his experienced roster should force his team to be among the elite in the league. Just understanding the competition level and, and how important preparation is, you know, to, to, to achieve success and just the overall comfortability of, of knowing the system, knowing each other, uh, you know, but I think more than anything is, is we've got to play with the maturity. We've got to use that experience to our advantage. In fact, Simmons will have all five starters coming back this year. Checking in as the preseason number three in the Valley is the Missouri State Bears. MSU was coming off a 20-win season under head coach Paul Lusk, despite dealing with a rash of injuries, which included former Valley Freshman of the Year Marcus Marshall. Marshall is back this year after knee surgery, and Lusk says he will be a key part of the Bears' success this season in league play. I think what a lot of people have to remember is that he's, he's only really played his freshman year, and, and he has a lot to prove, but uh, he's a very important piece of our team. He has progressed um, at the right pace. Uh, structurally, he's good, but there's still some rust to be knocked off. There's some soreness. Um, so we're monitoring that, but uh, he's been he's been very good practice so far. Lusk has four starters coming back, including Austin Reuter, who made more threes than any other freshman in the history of the conference. The Northern Iowa Panthers are picked as the preseason runner-up in the conference. Head coach Ben Jacobson returns all five starters from a year ago, which includes preseason all-conference forward Seth Tuttle. With over 90% of the team scoring and rebounding back from a year ago, Coach Jacobson says there's no question his team's experience is a huge advantage. We have an experienced team. Uh, we've got a team that'll be much deeper this year than we, than we were a year ago. Uh, at times a year ago, we, we fell off there. You know, we didn't have the depth we needed to, to compete with some of the better teams that we played against. And, and I feel like we've got, uh, we've got that now with our roster, with some of the guys that redshirted a year ago. We've got more help inside behind Seth. And then we've just got more guard. We've got more depth there. And, uh, uh, and, I, and I think the quality of our roster is a little bit, uh, a little bit better than it was a year ago. Deion Mitchell, Nate Buss, Matt Bohannon, and Wes Washburn are the other starters returning with Tuttle. Well, there just isn't enough words to describe the accomplishments of Greg Marshall's Wichita State Shockers over the last two seasons. Following a Final Four appearance in 2013, the Shocks went 35-0 last year before falling to Kentucky in the NCAAs. 
Marshall was tabbed the nation's coach of the year with his team's accomplishment. But the well is not dry by any stretch of the imagination as they head into the 2014-15 season. The preseason favorite in the Valley brings back preseason All-American guard Fred Van Vliet and All-Valley returnees Ron Baker and Tekel Cotton. Coach Marshall says this team has aspirations of being one of the nation's elite teams once again. The expectations are very high, as we know, and um, they should be because we have such a talented group of, of young men coming back that have already achieved great things in their career, and if they remain healthy, uh, are expected to do it again. So we, we know that um, the bar is pretty high, and we, we're preparing to, to have a, a very good season, and we just need uh, some breaks to go our way and, and continue to stay healthy, and we think we can make that happen. And there you have it. To no one's surprise, the Wichita State Shockers, the preseason number one in the Valley again. As we take a look at the entire preseason poll for 2014-15, and it again is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare, an Aetna company, the official presenting sponsor of the MVC TV network. Shockers on top. Northern Iowa should have a terrific season with a terrific team coming back, as we told you about Ben Jacobson squad, followed by Missouri State and Evansville. All right, when we come back, we will have our yearly chat with the Valley's Commissioner, Doug Elton. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs. And that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry. Get any large original or flatbread taco pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. surprising places. Plan your holiday shopping getaway at explorestlouis.com. In the insurance business, you think differently about a customer when you stand in the middle of his dreams. When she serves you breakfast every Saturday morning. When his son plays on the same team as your son. When you live down the street from your customers, you make sure they get covered right. And you make sure you're there when they need you. That's the way it's done around here. Grinnell Mutual, a policy of working together. To find a Grinnell Mutual agent near you, go to GrinnellMutual.com. At Aetna, we believe a health insurance company should be as passionate about their members' health as they would be their own. Because a healthier you leads to a healthier community, and healthier communities lead to a healthier world. Do you remember... Celebrate 25 years of Arch Madness. Don't miss the 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament, March 5th through 8th at the Scott Trade Center. Get your tickets and get to St. Louis for Arch Madness. The Shockers will go to the NCAA 34-0. And we welcome you back to the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special. Scott Warman back with you. And as you know, we've done this show for many, many years. And during the program, we always have our yearly chat with the commissioner of the Missouri Valley Conference, Doug Elgin. And it is time to do so. Just uh, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to catch up with the Valley's commissioner and talk about the now and the future of the Valley. Doug, obviously it's a very special year um, for the Missouri Valley Conference, especially if we look at the, the men's side of things. The, the 25th anniversary of, of Arch Madness in downtown St. Louis. I know it's been quite a workload for you and your staff, but you've built this thing up to uh, one of the most respected conference championships in all of college basketball. 
It's got to be special to get to number year number 25. Yeah, it really is, Scott. I mean, when you look at the, the staff has been together for most of that time. Uh, the four senior staff members have been together for more than 25 years, actually. And uh, we've, we've taken the thing from the early years at Kale Auditorium to uh, the, the years that we've had at Scott Trade Center. And it's a, it's a showcase for our student athletes. It's something, a it's a tradition that our fans look forward to, whether they're with the team that plays on Thursday night in the 7, 10, 8, 9 bracket, or they come in here as a favorite. They like to come in and, and spend the weekend. It's become a destination uh, for, our, for our fans, and we couldn't be happier with the way it's unfolded here in St. Louis. You mentioned the fans and the attendance, which grew last year, really a great number last year for the Missouri Valley Conference and Arch Madness in the men's basketball tournament. Do you hear from other people within college bas basketball ranks or either other conferences that ask you about your success that they could have the same success for their conference tournament? Yeah, I think, I think a, a parallel would be the, the Mid-American Conference in Cleveland at the um, um, Quick, Quick and Loans, I think it's called, Arena, but Gund Arena, whatever it's called. Uh, they've, they've done a nice job with it. The Cleveland Cavaliers partner with them on marketing the event. Um, we're, we're fortunate to be able to keep our tournament in one place for as long as we have. And you, you have to thank the St. Louis Blues for, for making way for us to have the dates every year. Um, it puts their hockey team on the road in March, and it's a busy arena in, in the month of March. They've got NCAA wrestling, NCAA ice hockey, other events that come in. And certainly we've been very fortunate to have good corporate partners and civic leadership here that's really helped us grow the event. We're always here in athletics, you win as a team and, and you lose as a team. And that also, I'm sure, is the mantra with, with the conference. But Wichita State's dominance has been pretty special, not only from a conference standpoint, from a national standpoint. What has Greg Marshall and his group of players over the last couple of years done for the Missouri Valley? Well, they've certainly kept the national spotlight on us. And I, I think they helped us completely turn the page when we had a membership change. Creighton departs and goes to the Big East. I think a lot of people were wondering what happens to the Missouri Valley next. And I think they proved that strength is cyclical, um, certainly, and uh, they were able to get uh, a great run together in the postseason in 2013. They'd been picked fourth in the preseason in our league and they ended up in the Final Four. And that was just a glorious moment for everybody that worked in our league, league office, certainly. Uh, helped to raise the bar competitively for teams around the Valley. And certainly, um, you know, when you have a dominant team like that, what you really want are two or three dominant teams like that. You want a little bit of parity at the top to put your league in a position where you can get multiple bids into the NCAA tournament. That's one of our primary goals every year. And certainly, um, you know, Wichita State has, has really um, put together the kind of run that, that makes other teams envious, but makes them work harder to try to reach that same level. And again, the Shockers, preseason number one, not to anyone's surprise, but you just talked about it, getting multi-teams into the bid, into the NCAA tournament. That looks like a pretty viable possibility this year, because I think after maybe a little bit of a down year last year, it looks like the Valley's really stacked this season. I think so. I think you're seeing coaches have, that have been in place long enough, their program is maturing, kids that they recruited who were freshmen when they arrived are now going to be juniors or seniors. And, um, you know, I think we're going to see the same type of rise of the league that we had in the middle 2000s when we went three bids, three bids, four bids. And, um, you know, I think, um, I think we're going to be in a position where we're going to be able to command multiple bids this year. And obviously you and I have talked about this before. The importance of that is more the what the teams do in non-conference play. And obviously when you lose the bracket busters that you guys were a huge part of that, you were very influential in that. You lose the... Um, Mountain West challenge as well. I would imagine for all 10 teams, whether it's your preseason number one or preseason number 10, having that big non-conference schedule is huge for the whole conference as a whole. It is, and you couple that with losing a top 25, a perennial top 25 program with, with Creighton, usually in RPI around 25 to 50. That's a loss of 18 games against a really strong program. So I think our, our coaches and administrators uh, last spring and this, this past spring, two years ago and, and this past spring, understand the, the gravity of needing to strengthen schedules. I think there's a buy-in by our coaches. I think you're going to see scheduling uh, strengthened in the next couple of years. We've got more teams playing in the ESPN regional multi-team events, the early season tournaments like the Old Spice Classic and the Diamond Head Classic. And those, those are opportunities, I think, where you get 
high major teams on a neutral court in a sunny climate, and you have a chance to win them. I'm glad you mentioned coaches because I think that's something that kind of gets overlooked in the whole grand scheme of things in the Missouri Valley Conference. And not only from the men's side, but also from the women's side. I mean, there are the pedigrees of some of the women's basketball coaches in this league are, well, they're national champions. You go to Wichita or Springfield, Missouri, or even up to Loyola. But coaches are such a huge part of the fabric, men's and women's side, on the basketball side in this conference. I think through history, they ha they've played the most prominent role of all in, in our success. 18 trips to the men's Final Four, two to the women's Final Four, and those three women have, have all played on national championship collegiate teams. That has to help them. Their perception, the way student athletes, recruits look at them, has to, has to mean a lot. And I think you're seeing uh, programs being built on the women's side that kind of parallels what's happening on the men's. Doug, let's uh, talk about the women's basketball tournament. Obviously, a few years ago, you made the decision to go to a neutral site. We've been at the Family Arena in St. Charles for a number of years. This will be the last year, and you're moving on. Talk about the decision of moving from St. Charles or, or out of St. Charles after this season? Well, we've had a good experience at St. Charles and I think the arena is a very well-run, very well-managed facility. Um, I think every couple of years when you're near the end of your contract on a tournament uh, agreement, um, you need to, for, for a prudent business standpoint, you need to see what's out there, what, what's the best opportunity for your league, not only financially, but in terms of the fit. And, you know, we looked at a few tournament sites outside of St. Louis, and I, I'd never been to the Quad Cities. I was extremely impressed with their downtown in Moline. The iWireless Center is a better facility. I think there's going to be new excitement. Some of the women's coaches today talked about the excitement of taking their teams to a new venue and a new market. And there was a the very strong Missouri Valley presence there from the standpoint of local civic leadership. A lot of people had graduated from Northern Iowa or Bradley. And I think you're going to see, I think we have a real chance to establish uh, the Quad Cities as a long-term neutral site for our women's teams. And our women's coaches have been very adamant about understanding how important the neutral site is. And I think, I think we're going to see uh, an opportunity for us to grow that event and maybe sink in roots and remain there for a long time. Doug, we've heard a lot of the coaches both on the men's and women's side. And I think you and I have even discussed this before when you mention facilities. The facility upgrades that we have seen throughout almost the entire Missouri Valley Conference has been pretty special and also shows, I think, the importance of a basketball-centric conference. Oh, it is. You know, when you compare what we have today with what we had 10 years ago in our league, there's just no comparison. Almost every one of our institutions now has a dedicated practice facility. Drake just opened the Shivers basketball practice facility that's going to really benefit all of their programs because it's going to open up the, the Bell Center for other, other practices uh, for teams outside of the winter sports. And I think um, if, you, if you take the year 2000 through 2014, there have been over half a billion dollars spent on facility infrastructure uh, improvements or new, new construction in our league. You look at the, you just look at all the arenas in our league, I don't know that there's a better league outside the top five that has um, you know, the kind of facilities that can compare with the Missouri Valley. And a reminder, our chat with the Missouri Valley Conference Commissioner Doug Elgin is made possible by Frontier Communications, your best choice for phone, TV, and high-speed internet services. When we come back, we'll wrap things up and get you a preview of the schedule on TV in the Missouri Valley Conference when we return. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. Have you tried one of these? It's so good. Man, I can't believe we haven't done this before. Oh, wow, look at that. What a bite. You're aging. Do the jingle. Do the jingle. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, guys. Bubba! Uh, do it again, do it again. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In my office. State Farm. I think we're good. <laughs> state Farm agents help you get to a better state. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? 
with DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. The 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare, the official presenting sponsor for the MVC TV Network. By Purina Dog Chow. For every dog, there's a dog chow. By State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And by Casey's General Store. Casey's, famous for pizza. And as we are wrapping up this edition of the 2014-15 Missouri Valley Conference Basketball Preseason Special, it's time now for what's coming up in the Missouri Valley Conference. And it is brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Find an agent or get a quote at statefarm.com. And we take a look at the listing of the 2014-15 MVC TV Network schedule on this station. And folks, we have a pretty rigid schedule, if you will, because most games going on on Wednesday night and Saturday afternoons through the month of January and February, which of course leads us into Arch Madness. Of course, the playing games at the Scott Trade Center in downtown St. Louis on Thursday night. Quarterfinal Friday we'll have for you here on the MVC TV network starting at noon central time. And then of course we'll have semifinal Saturday on Saturday afternoon before the championship game. Please tune in to the Valley Network to catch the best that college basketball has to offer. Folks, thanks so much for joining us here on the program and we will see you this upcoming season in the Missouri Valley Conference.